How's it going, everybody? Uh, Brock here. That's not my real name, but that's what we'll call me. Um, so I'm here today with a... Good to be doing a ROM hack of Secret of Evermore. Um, why Secret of Evermore? I just played this game. Um, I just reviewed it, the actual game. Um, if you haven't watched that yet, please go do. I'm very proud of that video. I think I did an awesome job. I'll put a title card to it somewhere. So I figured while this game is fresh in my mind, I would do a hack of it. So what is this hack? This is a gameplay balance patch. It is supposed to um, improve the balance of the game. Um, they make a lot of changes. Um, for example, off the top of my head, one that I read about is that your weapons will all level. So when you level the sword, um, the weapons that you don't have yet will level. They will scale. Um, the reason they do that is so you don't have to grind to level each weapon because once you get a more powerful sword there's really not any reason to use the old ones um, and you know if you level the old ones and you get new ones you have to start all over every single time um, other changes they've made like the dog has to kill more enemies now uh, to increase his um, to level up his attack it's not um, it's not the same see so we're gonna get started here let's just thinking about this on a car ride today what I was gonna name my my dude when I got home you could probably guess what I'm gonna name the dog huh podunk so I'll just talk during this since there's no voice acting for me to talk over um, I don't remember, I didn't commit all the changes to memory, but the ones I'm aware of, uh, they have increased, I guess, the, uh, the statistics of enemies, the stats. Enemies should hurt more now, they should be able to take more damage. Um, I want to say that I read that they fixed bugs. Um, I didn't mention this in my review, but there are bugs in this game. The reason I didn't talk about them in my review is because in all the times I've ever beaten Secret of Evermore, I mean, call me lucky, maybe I've just been lucky, uh, I've never actually had that many save files be affected by bugs. There was only one time, one time out of like a dozen times I've beaten this game that I had a file be corrupted by a bug. And what happened was I think it was related to the speed formula, which boosts your agility. Um, I suddenly noticed when I was playing that I couldn't hit anything. I was missing every single attack. So I was like, what is going on? I went into my stats menu and I noticed that my hit percentage was negative 65,535, whatever that number is. We've all seen that number before. So I couldn't hit anything. But if I put speed on, if I activated speed, the alchemy, it would basically undo the effect and my hit percentage would be back in like the the realm of normalcy whereas when it wore off i was right back at negative 65,000 again but but again that only ever happened to me once in all the times i've beaten this game one time i've had a bug so i gather they fixed those in this um they've also changed certain things like it used to be that you could just spam alchemy over and over and over and over again um, I guess you can't do that anymore. Uh, using alchemy is the same as attacking in that it depletes your stamina and you have to wait about, I don't know, a couple seconds for it to recharge. And then you can use another alchemy. Whereas in the original game, you could just use spell after spell after spell after spell. Um, oh, and that's another thing I think I read. They changed how the alchemy's level. So now... Same was with the weapons. You don't have to level each and every single alchemy from scratch. They're in categories now, so if you level up a category, all future alchemies that you get in that category will be leveled up. Now, I don't know if they've changed any of the dialogue, like typos even. I don't know if the dialogue's been changed at all. I did read that they added new enemy types, but the reason I wanted to play this hack is because I want to go through this game and see what's different, see if it's any better, because unfortunately, even though I love Secret of Evermore, it is a very easy game. It's very easy. 
Um, it's not really challenging. It's it's kind of like the Fallout games um, when you play them how they're intended to be played. The hardest part's the beginning when you have nothing, you know, in this. You have no alchemy, you have no weapons, um, you have nothing. So that's really the hardest part of the game. And then once you kind of get on your feet, um, it's just too easy. Uh, <laughs> so that's why I wanted to play through this because I'm not normally a hack guy. I'm a purist. I have the NES Classic and the SNES Classic, and I just don't want to hack those because... I don't know. I like things to be in their original state. Um, I don't like things to be altered. So I can't help that. But I like this game a lot, and I just beat it. And, you know, if there's a patch out there that, from what I've read, is supposed to balance things, uh, we will see. I will be the judge of that because I just beat this game. So I'm about to gain control. I'm assuming direct control. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, that's another thing. I think I read that they changed, is that the bazooka will not have unlimited ammo later in the game. That's a problem that the game had. You buy all this bazooka ammo, which I did in my review. I bought all this, and I realized that I was like, well, crap. I didn't need to do that because I'm a really bad shot. Blame it on the changes. Oh, you son of a gun. All right. This game has such awesome music. Come here, you bugger. Ho oh, ho ho. Can you imagine that? You're in a room by yourself. Raise up my zooker. Okay, looks like way out. Is that you, buddy? I can't see very well. Let me shoot the control panel. Whoops. You're not supposed to have it loaded. Don't ever get near spacecraft with a loaded bazooka. I mean, I'm assuming that's what happened. He said oops. It always looks like you're going to fall right into the ocean at this part. Or a really thick river. So this should really be like where the changes kick in, I'm assuming. If you're really my dog, you'll fetch this stick. Brings back the stick. Ah, oh, man. This isn't the stick, but it'll do. Alright. First thing I want to do is change how my dog behaves. I want him to fight. Change this window. I don't like the window that they set you up with. Go for that one. Let's do a minimalist one this time. All right, so now I'm not going to know what's any of the boxes uh, or, you know, most of the boxes are just kind of resources that you can pick up lickety split like so I'm not going to know if those have been changed. But from what I read in the patch notes, they did not change anything like that. They just kind of balanced the game. They didn't change where like items are. They did change some of the alchemy formulas because later in the game when you get uh, spells like barrier. Um, it really kind of makes you untouchable. Like, yeah, you have to go through the annoyance of casting it constantly, but I believe it negates uh, enemy attacks, so you're basically invincible. And I think they changed the formula for that one to kind of... I mean, I imagine what will happen is it goes from being, as is the case with a great many games, something like that goes from being overpowered to being worthless. So now, watch, uh, I'll get Barrier later and and just not use it at all because it will then go from being something that made the game like impossible to lose to now it's impossible to use uh, i've seen that happen a lot in games it's unfortunate that that balance is really hard to strike ouch that stung 
So I wonder how hard the raptor fight is going to be right here in the beginning. I'm trying to let my dog sniff things out. Um, come on, dog. Help me out here, buddy. Woof. I swear that that growl that you hear, I keep thinking that's like my stomach. So how are my weapons leveling? Let's see. Seven. I wonder if they changed the mosquitoes. Um... Okay, I didn't miss anything down here, right? No, okay. Yeah, the mosquitoes in the original version were worth more points towards your weapons. So you wanted to make sure to kill those uh, whenever you see them. Because they give you more points. I think it was like two, two points, three points. Um, but because you want to level up your weapon... Um, ASAP because it's the only one that you have um, You may want to make sure you kill those mosquitoes So let's see here Now what makes this beginning section tough is I don't believe that there are any screens that you can walk off of to change the area and That matters because when I go up here Oh wait, I can No, I can't oh wait, I can Okay, that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this section again just quick. I'm going to try to at least gain like one level before I take those raptors on. And I uh, I will just cut that part out so you guys don't have to watch me go back through. Okay, so it's time to take on the raptors. I did manage to gain one level. Um, the downside... This is, again, I mentioned Fallout. This is a very limited part of the game. I had access to one pedal... And I had to use it on my dog, because if he dies, I have no way to revive him. So this is kind of a, this is going to be a very hard part. I have a strange feeling about this. Um, because I have no way to heal. And every enemy that I killed dropped, no, oh, and I missed already. Um, wow, this one raptor is like, I'm going to mess you up. Wow, thanks, man. You kick the crap out of us, and then you go back in your bush. So yeah, that's another issue. If I can't hit him, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this section. Just because I have no healing items. Um, yeah, and that's the other thing. If I miss, it's not going to matter. And I believe you have to kill like two or three raptors. It's usually easier if you stay to like one side. Too bad I couldn't drink that to like heal myself. I'm not, I'm not too worried about this, though. You don't have to win this fight. But I imagine if they changed the enemy parameters, then the odds of me hitting something... Okay, I actually hit him. See, the dog's dead already. Probably should have saved that pedal for myself. I got one! <laughs> Didn't even mean to. He jumped in the path of my bone. That's... Oh, God, that sounds terrible. Edit that out. Alright, so I hit him. Yeah, sometimes when you kill the flower enemies, um, they will drop petals. But, none of these did. So I'm going to try to, like, move around, get him to waste his attack. So kind of just dance a little bit, get him to move. That's funny, like, when I hit him dead on doesn't register. It registers as a miss. Got two. Okay, so their HP has not been boosted much. Um, just, just a couple... Damn. A couple hits, and hopefully I can take at least one hit. Um, I really wasn't paying attention. To how much he was hurting. Oh god, don't come down. Oh, I thought he was gonna come attack me. I was like, I am screwed. I probably shouldn't do that. But I feel like, yeah, you have to wander in the middle, get him to come out. Oh god, feisty little guy. I probably shouldn't take those risks. Should probably stick to this up and down game. Missed. Oh god, yep, there's that one hit that I get. Little bastard. Come out. Come on out. 
miss. It's not good. I need you, dog. Come back to life. Come back to life. Come on, butthole. This guy's only got one hit left, maybe. I'm standing in the middle, because, like, I prefer for him to attack down. Because that makes that easy, that swipe that I can take at him. But, yeah, if he comes at me... Come on. Half the time he runs up. Stop being an oil painting. Right, come on down. Come down. Boy, he's taking it easy too. He's like, I ain't gonna fall for this. Come on. Ah! Oh. Yeah, same with Fallout. You, man, this is ridiculous. You're you're most limited when you first start out. Like my hit percentage is gonna be trash. Come on, man. Behave how I need you to. He got me. Ah, after all that, he probably had one hit left too. But luckily, you don't need to win. How come the dog is? Now I'm not dead. They didn't eat you, though. They just wanted to beat you up. This wild animal here. It's my dog, dude! Imagine somebody saying that to you. Well, now that you're safe in the hospital, you can save your game. Uh... Okay. Yeah, and feel free to take our stuff. We know you'll return... What are you saying? I'm going to work for you or something? Yeah, that nectar would have come in handy. And I think in the original game you had more petals. Um, I don't remember having to go into that fight with one. One petal. Raid everybody's... What, did they watch? That was quite a fight! You know, you could have thrown a gourd at the raptors or something, distracted them a little bit. So, I know where most of these things are, because I've played this game way too many times. It's an awesome game. So, how's my femur doing here? 39. It's pretty good. It's already almost halfway leveled. I'm going to need that. Dog, you sniff something. What is it? Wooter. I think this guy sells armor. Might not have enough money to get anything, though. Just a grass vest. Mm. I was naked. Stuff over here to get. Could have used that biscuit, too. That'll revive the dog if he dies. He probably sniffs something over there. Sniffs. Sniffy, sniffy dog. Alright, now I have a really bad memory, so I've already forgotten which houses I've gone in. Yeah, that's what I thought. I heard that they balanced money in, in some regard or, or another, because towards the end of this game, you really end up with... Just butt tons of cash. Okay, so those were the houses I went in already. And money just kind of becomes worthless. So I read that they did change that. Uh, we'll see. Come on, man. Get out of my way. Fool. Alright, let's go see Fire Eyes. I think that's it, right? There's no more houses. Oh wait, there might be one more left to loot. I love how that one guy spoke for everybody. Yeah, just go into our homes and take our crap. You'll probably pay us back. That always sounds like a stomach, that noise. I'm always like, am I hungry? I can't even run yet. Wait outside, dog.
So, so far that beginning part was a little more difficult. I feel like they scaled down the EXP that enemies give you as well, because it took me a while to get that, that next level up that I talked about. Uh, I feel like it helped me and it hurt me because then my dog was weakened when I went in, and I had to make that choice between, you know, do I want to use my pedal on my dog to keep him alive, or do I want to save it for myself? Because I feel like the dog already is more accurate um, than the boy, than Marty. Um, I feel like I miss a lot. He's not a wild beast, he's my dog. What's his name? Uh, I didn't actually name him until now. Yeah, boy! That's original. He's like, yeah, I just named him now. One thing I love from the beginning of this game is how they both come out of the movie theater. Podunk. Mm -mm. Interesting. I might! Uh, does that mean I have to do work? They make him sound like he's got Alzheimer's. That he wandered off. Before you go. My first alchemy. Cool, thanks! Just give some random stranger the ability to burn things. What could go wrong? Okay, so since I have next to no money, I have 75 talents. Let's see if I can buy... It's this guy, right? Yes. Woo! It's just like real world oil. I can't really buy anything, so... Save my money. Let's go get our butts kicked. Oh, I thought he missed. So I want to try to get these to attack. And then swoop in for that damage. Because like I said before, this is, this is going to be the hardest part of the game, I feel like. Because I have... No resources. Uh, nada. I hate these things. They're like turkeys in a shell. The other thing I don't like is how much I'm missing. Yeah, I can't even use... I hit something. Oh, he's dead. Does the dog get experience while he's down? He does not. I have to get him back on his feet. So I have a feeling until I get my footing here, uh, this is going to be um, a lot of what this game is. I'm going to have to run back to an inn, which, you know, 
I'm from the old days when RPGs were nothing but grind fests, so... This is better than the game being too easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play until I have enough money to get the collar and uh, the rest of the grassware and maybe uh, some ingredients to actually use Flash. Um, and then I'll just cut that out because who wants to watch me grind for an hour? Okay, awesome. The Bone Crusher is now level 2 means I can really smash the crap out of stuff and from what I understand from the patch notes um, I will not have to level the other swords in the game so now I mean the bone crusher will probably still be level two by the time I get uh, is it the gladiator sword is that the first sword um, I know there's something here but the upside to that is that I will not have to level any of the following weapons, which... Subsequent weapons, sorry. Which is a good thing. Okay, it's time to set out. I grinded until... I make it sound like a lot. Uh, I got a level 7 boy. The dog is also level 7. I got enough money to get him his collar, his leather collar. And I also have the grass set, or rather, the grass vest and hat, and for some reason, a vine bracelet. They couldn't make me a grass bracelet. Um, I also got enough money. I mean, I was able to get enough petal drops from uh, the enemies to get my petals maxed out at 6. Because I don't have any alchemy at this point um, to do any sort of healing. I have to rely on items. I bought enough ingredients. <laughs> took all my money to use flash 10 times. I have not used any alchemy yet, as you can see from my list here. Uh, so we'll see how that has changed and how that levels up. So we're gonna set out here for bug muck. And also I killed enough enemies to get my bone, bone crusher. Uh, it's up to 72 points. So that's almost at level three already and that will be maxed out. And the good thing about that is if I understood the patch notes correctly, that will mean that all future swords that I get will be at level 3. I will not have to kill enemies to level them up anymore. So I will be able to just use the level 2 charge attack. Um, it's kind of weird how they do it in Secret of Evermore. When you obtain a weapon, it's at level 1. And you cannot charge it. And then when it is at level 2, you can charge it once. And then when it is at level 3, you can charge it twice. So it's a little wonky. Um, but as you can see, that that extra damage um, is really making a difference. I can pretty much one-shot these weird shell things most of the time. Uh, what was something else I wanted to check? The um, only thing I've really noticed is the dog kind of behaves differently sometimes. Like, he won't attack things. Oh, I want that Skeeto. Oh, I should really check my weapon points um, to see if they're still worth... Oh, what I was going to check, I just remembered. So you want to get summoned over here. So, I got the Bone Crusher up to... Wrong right, menu. 79 okay the dog who normally outpaces you like big time wrong screen is only at 32 the dog's attack normally levels up way sooner than yours and and then he's overpowered for like the rest of the game 
So we want the Jaguar Tooth Ring from this guy, because uh, it allows us to run. Do I even have enough money to buy any of your stuff, pal? Um, I guess I'll load up on dog biscuits. That way, if my dog dies, I have a way to bring him back to life. Our first key item there. Just like real life. Press that A button, people. Yes, we know, dog. Alright. So now we can outrun the quicksand. Well, not that one. You have to use it to get out. Try to take enemies out as I go. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just run through this because every time I get stuck, I'm gonna have to wait for my dog. Yeah, you can uh, just outrun them. Sand up here. Is there anything up here at all? Skeeter. Oh, it's an item. Can't carry any more pedals. Well, in that case. Now I can. Oh, let's see if I can do this. So I'm at 83 points. Come here, buddy. Eighty-four! I think they brought it down. I think that used to give you more points. Okay. Bug muck. Let's go get strong heart here. Hopefully this uh level charge attack will help me out here against these guys if I you know if I actually hit them. Try out Flash here. I haven't. Oh, that's right. You have to use um, Alchemy when you have full stamina. So you can't spam Alchemy anymore. And I'm definitely going to want whatever my dog finds. Because ingredients are going to be a little hard to come by in, in the beginning. Oh, well, reduced points or not, you still want to kill these because. It's at the very least an easy point. And I want my weapon leveled up. Let's get an alchemy from this guy. Hi, bud. Hello, friend. It's very powerful. Yes. He was wandering off. Hadball. I feel like everybody's like, uh... It's like when apps went that free-to-play route, but they had microtransactions. It's like, here, have an alchemy for nothing. Do you, uh, want to buy some ingredients? I'll tell you what. I can't buy clay from him. So I'm probably better off... Oh man, his stuff's so much cheaper! I wasted so much money in town. The freaking town prices are like double these. I was swindled by my own people. No wonder they let me have all their stuff in their homes. Yeah, we'll make it back when he buys ingredients. Rip him off. Okay, so I'm one-shotting those without charging, so that's good. Come here, bug! You're my ticket. Life's a highway. Come here, buddy. Yeah, 
gonna make me work for him, aren't you? Alright, let's get an attack charged up here. Woo! It's not what I... Eh. You're not worth it. I'm gonna walk away. Love that noise. The dog does behave kind of odd. Um, I could be wrong, but I feel like that's a difference thus far. He, he won't attack things sometimes, whereas I feel like in the original game that's not something that you're ever going to have a problem with. The dog will go after stuff. Um, if you set him to. You know, if you set him as aggressive, he will go after things. Whereas, microphone's like falling down slowly. Woo, slapped him around. Man, this has got to be about leveled. What are we talking, like 99 points? 93. Come here, Skeeter. Oh wow, I didn't even know that was there. How cool would that be if I could get this up to level three before I fight, uh, is his name like Thrax or Thorax or something like that? Skater. I just swing like mad at these guys because, I mean, one hit and they're dead. So you don't really need to wait. I don't even know if there's anything up here. Wow, I am just accidentally finding the ingredients. That hurt, though. Come on, dog. Do something. How am I missing? He's stuck in the ground. Yeah, boy! Okay, so now that Bone Crusher is maxed out. We can really raise some heck now. So, basically what that means is it is now at its max charge, which I don't really have to kill mosquitoes anymore. I could kind of let the dog do it. Oh, this wonderful place. This is a maze. I'm probably going to be here for a while. I actually forgot to include this in my review. Just probably because this is one of the, the lesser irritating mazes. They're irritating mazes and they're irritating mazes. And this is kind of the lesser of the two. Probably just... No? These don't break? I thought these all broke. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Yep. For a minute there, I was hoping they changed that. Come on, dog. I really want to hit you with this. Boom! Oh, he's dead. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably stuck here anyway, so let's jump down. Actually, I don't think you want to go that way. Ah, uh, well, wait a minute. Maybe you do. I don't remember going that way. Don't ask me what that was. I kind of just took a swipe at nothing. Come on, dog. Come on, talk to me that way. Come on, McFly. What's the matter, you chicken? Whew. See them mad dodging skills? Okay, I made it to the other... Wait, nope, nope, I spoke too soon. Got excited. At least I'm not, like, getting one-shotted. You know, like before, where it's, like, one hit. You're on death's door. Alright, so I, th I think I went the wrong way. Yep, so I'm gonna have to... Really, that cost me my weapon charge? So I probably just took one slightly wrong turn... 
But the good thing about this maze is that the pathways fall apart, so you can't like retrace your steps in in a bad way and end up right back in the same. Oh, you bugger! Wait, that might be a pedal. I'm gonna take a chance. Watch, it'll be talons. Hey, you gay you! Okay, so there's always a bug under one of these. There he is, cheeky guy. Nice job, dog. I think you want to go this way. I think the other way is a dead end. Oh, well. Now I can. Be really curious to see what this first boss is like. Um, when I fought him when I was doing the review, I was way under leveled. I basically ran here. Um, I didn't have the Bone Crusher leveled up. I had probably no ingredients to use Flash. Um, and I ended up actually, I think, beating the fight without the dog because the dog died. I revived him. I ran out of biscuits. He stayed dead. And I think what saved me was I was down to like 3 HP or something like that. And I killed one of these little grub things. I thought that hurt 47. It was just a 4 and a 7 right next to each other. Yeah, I thought that took me out. Um, but, I, I, so I ended up surviving and I actually beat him. But, okay, so we'll see here. So I think what I, my strategy is going to be is to just power up and go inside and lay waste and hope the dog doesn't hit him first because my attack will do more damage at this point. So there's mosey on in here. Come on dog, open the place up. Open it up! See, I don't know if I... I think you gotta hit him to open it. Come on dog. I could try this. Seems different. Oh man, he uses that on you? Ow. Keep the dog from dying here. I just gotta figure out how to get him to open up. Let me just kind of attack everything here. So yeah, I keep forgetting that you need your stamp. Ah! Gotta love them multi-hits. Oh, I keep doing that. Multiple. Ouch. How do you get in there, though? That's what I want to know. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Ah! I don't like that they can stack damage so easily. Am I safe where I'm standing? Sorry, dog. It's gotta be done. Gotta let him have- Oh, that was so close. I almost didn't get to do that. Dog's probably dead. Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna revive him. And heal myself. This ain't going well. Just because, like, how do you get in here? Can you kill his arms, I wonder? Aw, oh, man, he opened up. And I wasn't there. is not what you want. I gotta get in there. 
That's not good. At least you don't need full stamina to use an item. Hey dog, you want to pick up that pedal? Woo! Ouch. So the item drop rate for these seems to have been increased. I mean, I could be wrong. so close and I freaking missed it that's gonna keep like shaving me down Ugh, it stings and of course the challenge at this point is you do not have that healing alchemy so I have to have items That was nice. God. Oh no, the dog's in here. Don't do it. Oh! BS. Okay, I am back to challenge this guy. I really hope this game isn't a grind fest, but basically, what I did was... Um, I got enough ingredients to use Flash a few more times, and I also expended a few of those uses so that it's level 2 now. So I have a level 2 Flash. We will see if that does anything. I always forget you need to be at 100% stamina. Let's do multiple. I got a little careless last time. Um, See if I can stay in the middle here. Ah! See, I have to make a choice when I'm in there. Like, do I want to cause a lot of damage? Like, and risk getting thrown out? I wonder if you can take out his arms. Hang on, dog. Don't panic. See, that's what I want, those big hits. I also gotta keep an eye on my... HP. It's an interesting pose to strike when you're getting hit with Acid Rain. And that they can stack that damage is... really kind of what works against you. Let's see if I can get these guys. Let me in. Whew. I gotta stop moving to the sides. I forget those arm. Oh, am I stuck? That's not good. Ah. So he can take more damage. I feel like originally... Um, I don't want the dog in here. He's gonna freaking mess this up. I just went for a strike. I figured the dog's gonna do it. See, at this rate, I'm going to be out of petals. Dog! Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I gotta love that damage stack where I feel like that's something you didn't have to worry about in the original. So what I might do if he's gonna stay open like that, I don't know what triggered that, like if you can break his like ribs, so to speak, so he stays open. Oh, really? It was that easy? I probably almost had him dead then when I lost. <laughs> now I feel bad, oh man. See, I can be MLG too, even though I don't play Fortnite. Okay, geez louise. 
and a new weapon. Now this one is in an axe, uh, is an axe, blah, blah, blah. so I will have to level that um, starting from scratch, but that's because it's in a different category, if I understand things correctly. Thank you for saving me. It's a shame it took you two tries. Please, here! Take these things. The real reward is the weapon. But I guess it is kind of handy that I can use. So now I gotta... Gives me a reason to kill mosquitoes. Can you imagine being the kind of psychopath that tries to swat a mosquito out of the sky? I should say air. Makes it sound like a big mosquito. With an axe? I, I feel like that would be the kind of person that people would call the police on. Yeah, a mosquito was just kind of flying by and uh, he was swinging an axe at it like a madman. Wait, is there something here? No, okay. So yeah, let me just see. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, though. Yeah, starts all over. But at least... I mean, the dog can have that, so... We're about to get acid rain. So the dog does wander over there. He kind of shows you this area. Which is neat. Was this a bone? Really, dog? Neat. Uh, acid rain. You look like, yeah, I guess so. I've died already twice. You're telling me, buddy. Here's something that should help you out. It better be as good as the one I just got hit with. Want to purchase some stuff? Your stuff is his stuff cheaper? Okay, I was gonna say. Wow, I actually have some talons. Now let's be smart here and not burn through it. Burns through it. Okay. Figure we'll get back to town and be done. So I think we can go see Strongheart now and actually get uh, a new alchemy, I believe. Should kill that. Boom. I always forget, they changed that. Go to use my alchemy and I don't have 100% stamina. Maybe by the maybe by the time I beat the game I will remember that. I was hoping that would hit him. I do like the axes for their reach though. Nice job, dog. I don't think there's anything up there. I believe that's just the uh, place for your wind walker thing to land later. See what I mean? The dog will walk right up to things, but he won't attack them. What'd you find? Alright, let's go see... Oh. Strongheart. Before I forget... Because I forgot. Fucking last time I played this. At least I think I did.
Why does this poor guy live in exile? Okay, I did not miss this last time. I want roots and water. Um, unless... It's going to turn out to be something that they changed. Actually, I'm going to call it quits there. Um, camera battery is about to die. So, yeah, that's it for this time. Uh, when I pick up next time, we'll go see Fire Eyes and uh, continue from there. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, this mod is a little bit more than just a grind fest. But, you know, either way, I'm going to work my way through it. It's already way more challenging than the original game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Stay tuned for part dos.